Hey everyone, I just wanted to share some quick tips on using GoodNotes. There's certainly a lot of resources out there um, if you're newer to digital planning and, and really want to learn more, but um, if you are just getting started, I wanted to compile a few things that I've learned that'll just make it easier um, as you're starting to use your new studio planner. So when I'm on the planner uh, cover here, you can see this back button here would get me back into just your, you know, I would say home screen of GoodNotes and you could get to all of your categories from here as well. If I go into my planner, up here in the upper left, I have the four square icon and that brings you to your, your page view. And so it's showing me all the thumbnails of my page. And so um, this is where I go to duplicate or rearrange pages. You can also add bookmarks. Um, so you, you can kind of add bookmarks through sections in the planner, or you could also use bookmarks here in GoodNotes, which is really nice. So this is where you go to rearrange pages, add pages, things like that. If we jump over here, I'm just going to go to a blank monthly page to show some other things. Um, this plus is actually going to um, also it, it, it has some you know quick imports above and below. So this is a really great way um, if you don't want to add pages through the page pane, you can also add them here. It's, it kind of feels like a quick action, I'd say, um, to import them above and below. Um, but, but this is for importing pages from an external source. So if you're looking to duplicate one of the pages um, that's included as a template, do follow the instructions that I provided for that. Uh, but you can also bring in an image or um, a text box. I personally don't always love, um, especially for like big titles, I don't love writing them out because I get really critical of my handwriting. So um, you can always type it out and there's some different font options and sizes and um, making it italics. And so I really like that feature and, and I use it for things like um, if I'm creating a big section title, I just... I get critical of my handwriting and I like to type it out. Um, this this feature here, you can see it's a few little uh, shapes. Also love this um, because like I said, I get critical if my lines aren't straight and things like that. And so I'm just gonna pick a, a bright color here and bump this up so you can see. What this does, when I have this turned on, it's like a feature that you turn on and off. When I draw a line, you can see that's like squiggly. When I let off, it, it makes it straight. So I don't know if it'll fix this. Let's see. See, it's straight. So I love that when I am adding in boxes, um, just because it makes your wiggly hand, um, handwriting look, look totally straight. But obviously this um, does not work well if you're trying to write. So um, <laughs> you have to turn that off before you start writing. Then over here, um, this actually creates like a, I think they call it a, a zoom window. And so most of the lines in this planner have been optimized for the GoodNotes zoom window, which is I think below <clears throat> between 20 and 30 um, pixels. And so you can come in here and actually you can write in this space. Let me turn this a little more. So, oops, we are way too large there on the pen. So if I click in, I write in here, you can see it's giving me like a lot more room to write, but it's just putting it up there for me. So that is a really nice way to write if you're trying to get into some details uh, to use that, that zoom window there. And again, that was that, was that, um, that icon right there. So then um, these are these are kind of your main controls to toggle between really what you want to be doing with your your finger or your smart pencil. And so first um, the pen, you can change the sizes, you can change the colors and the, um, the presets can be easy as well. I just <laughs> I often want custom because I, I just want exactly the color I, I uh, have envisioned. And then this is a highlighter. So same same kind of controls, um, but it is highlighting 
things instead. And what I've noticed that I really love about this is say you highlight like over text, like maybe making something more decorative, it actually like um, it, it pushes it behind so that you're not covering up the text. So it's just a, like a nice feature of good notes that makes it really easy if you just wanted to come in and do something like this decorative or you know maybe make a little a little um, circle on each date. It's nice that good notes does that with the, with the text so you're not actually like covering it up with the color. And then eraser, because yeah, I wouldn't really keep any of this, I'm just doodling. You go through an erase and um, obviously you're not actually erasing the content of the planner, just the things you've added in good notes, which is also really nice. And then finally, if you watch other videos, you're probably familiar um, with these. This is my uh, lasso tool. And so this is how I pick things up. So let's open up our sticker book to remind you of how that works. If I want, say this bill do sticker, all I have to do is do you know a little, a little lasso around it and hold down, and that's where I have all my different options with those stickers, and that's where I could choose copy. Um, if you are using a different sticker set or something, you might end up using that lasso to actually you know carefully outline something because it might not be just easily saved as a PNG like I've done for you here. So just be aware that that, that is to kind of cut things out and pick them up. Um, for my planner, it's just, you know, you just have to draw a little bit anywhere on there. But um, if you bring other things in, you might be using that a little more meticulously. And so if I come in here, I paste that. And that's where I, I'm gonna choose to resize it. I'm gonna actually like place it on the day here. And then obviously I have to zoom in quite a bit to write, write in my details. And then I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but uh, this is how you, this is the icon for links to make things clickable. Um, so when you just wanna swipe through pages or you want your links in your planner to work, you need to make sure that this is selected. So those are some quick tips to get started. Like I said, there's you know a lot more to good notes that, um, that you can dive into, but if you're looking to just kind of quickly jump into the planner, those are, those are some of the main things that I think you would want to know.